Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reading Falling Up by Shel Silverstein. We're on the 21st poem, which is Furniture Bash. The hand of the clock pinched the foot of the bed, so the foot of the bed kicked the seat of the chair, so the seat of the chair sat on the head of the table, so the head of the table bit the leg of the desk, so the leg of the desk bumped the arm of the couch, so the arm of the couch slapped a face of the clock. And they pinched and they punched and they banged and they knocked and they ripped and they flipped and they rolled and they rocked and the poor dresser drawer got a couple of socks there was sawdust and springs when i turned on the light after that horrible furniture fight and that's the truth no lie no joke that's how your furniture all got broke why is it why is it some mornings your clothes just don't fit your pants are too short to bend over or sit your sleeves are too long and your hat is too tight. Why is it some mornings your clothes don't feel right? Turkey. I only ate one drumstick at the picnic dance this summer. Just one little drumstick. They say I couldn't be dumber. One tough and skinny drumstick. Why was that such a bummer? But everyone's mad at me, especially the drummer. Long Lake Lou and Short Lake Sue. Long Lake Lou and Short Lake Sue went for a walk down the avenue, laughing and joking like good friends do. Long Lake Lou and Short Lake Sue says Long Lake Lou to Short Lake Sue, can't you walk faster than you do? It really drives me out of my mind that I'm always in front and you're always behind. Says Short Lake Sue to Long Lake Lou, I walk as fast as I'm meant to do. Then I'll go walk in with someone new, says Long Lake Lou to Short Lake Sue. Now Long Lake Lou, he walks alone, looking for someone with legs like his own. And sometimes he thinks of those warm afternoons, back when he went walking with Short Lake Sue. And Short Lake Sue strolls down the street, hand in hand with Slowfoot Pete. And they take small steps, and they do just fine. And no one's in front, and no one's behind. My Robot I told my robot to do my bidding. He yawned and said, you must be kidding. I told my robot to cook me stew. He said I got better things to do. I told my robot to sweep my shack. He said, you want me to strain my back? I told my robot to answer the phone. He said, I must make some calls of my own. I told my robot to brew me some tea. He said, why don't you make tea for me? I told my robot to boil me an egg. He said, first, let me hear you beg. I told my robot there's a song you can play me. He said, how much are you going to pay me? So I sold that robot because I never knew exactly who belonged to who. The Deadly Eye It's the deadly eye of Poogly Pie. Look away, look away as you walk by. Because whoever's looking right at it surely will die. It's a good thing you did it. You did? Goodbye. The Voice there is a voice inside of you that whispers all day long. I feel that this is right for me. I know that this is wrong. No teacher, preacher, parent, friend, or wise man can decide. What's right for you, just listen to the voice that speaks inside. Mary Lou's Ride. The swing swang, the ropes snapped, the seat sailed, and she flew. Her heart sang, her shirt flapped, her coat tailed, her hair blew. The bells rang, the crowd clapped, her mom wailed and wept too. Then crash bang into her lap by air mail came Mary Lou. The monkey. One little monkey was going to the store. When he saw banana three, he'd never climbed before. By five o'clock that evening, he was six with a stomach ache, cause seven green bananas was what the monkey ate. By nine o'clock that evening, the monkey was quite ill. So 10 we called the doctor, who was 11 on the hill. The doctor said, you're almost dead. Don't eat green bananas no more. The sick little monkey groaned and said, but that's what I won two the three for imagining you're only just imagining a mouse is in your hair you've got to stop imagining that mice are everywhere i think you're just imagining to give yourself a scare but trust me dear i wouldn't lie there is no mouse up there cereal rice krispies stay crisp though they now and then lisp as they whisper their snap crackle pop in your bowl and though you pour a tall can of milk on your all bran it never will turn into glop so i'm told I know shredded wheat will stay crumbly and neat, though you soak it a year in the depths of the ocean. And from breakfast to lunch, your post toasties will crunch to show you their love and undying devotion. 
Odie, stay Odie, and wheat check, stay floaty, and nothing can take the puff out of the puffed rice. But I wish they'd invent a cereal for someone who likes it. All floppy and drippy and droopy and lumpy and sloppy and soggy and gloopy and gooey and mushy and nice. Sidewalking. They say if you step on a crack, you will break your mother's back. But that's just silly. Ha ha ha. Oops. Plop. Sorry, Ma. Screamin' Millie. Millie McDevitt screamed a scream so loud it made her eyebrows steam. She screamed so loud her jawbone broke. Her tongue caught fire and her nostrils smoked. Her eyeballs boiled and then popped out. Her ears flew north. Her nose went south. Her teeth flew out. Her voice was wrecked. Her head went sailing off her neck. Over the hillside, across the stream, into the skies, it chased the scream. And that's what happened to Millie McDevitt. At least I hope all your screamers believe it. Tattoo and Ruth. Collars are choking, pants are expensive, jackets are itchy and hot. So Tattoo and Ruth tattooed me a suit. Now folks think I'm dressed when I'm not. Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, that little wooden blokeio. His nose it grew an inch or two with every lie he spokeio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, thought life was just a jokeio till the morning that he met that cat and the fox in a long red cloakio. They cried, Come on, Pinocchio, we'll entertain the folkio. On puppet strings you'll dance and sing from Timbuktu to Tokyo. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, got sold to a traveling Shokyo, got put in a cage by a man in a rage with a stick to give him a pokio. So Pinocchio, Pinocchio, out of that cage he broke yo, to the land where boys just play with toys and cuss and fight and smoke yo. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, he finally awoke yo, with donkey ears and little boy tears, and his poor wooden heart was broke yo. So back home ran Pinocchio as fast as he could go yo, but his daddy had gone to sea, so off to sea went Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, he got quite a socio, when he lost his sail and got ate by a whale, and it looked like he was gonna croakio. But Pinocchio, Pinocchio, a fire he did stokio, inside that whale he sneezed up a gale and blew him out in the smokio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, next morning he awoke yo, and he had no strings or puppety things, and his donkey ears had disappeared. And his no surprise was the normal size, and his body felt fine, not made of pine. And he cried, oh joy, I'm a real boy, and everything's okie dokie Weird bird. Birds are flying south for winter. Here's the weird bird heading north. Wings a-flappin', beak a-chatterin', cold head bobbin' back and forth. He says, it's not that I like ice or freezin' winds and snowy ground. It's just sometimes it's kind of nice to be the only bird in town. Stone airplane. I made an airplane out of stone. I always did like staying home. Sharing. I'll share your toys, I'll share your money, I'll share your toast, I'll share your honey, I'll share your milk and your cookies too. The hardest part is sharing mine with you. Ice cream stop. The circus train made an ice cream stop at the 52 flavor ice cream stand. The animals all got off the train and walked right up to the ice cream man. I'll take vanilla, yelled the gorilla. I'll take chocolate, shouted the ocelot. I'll take the strawberry, chirped the canary. Rocky Road, croaked the toad. Lemon and lime, growled the lion. Said the ice cream man, till I see a dime, you'll get no ice cream of mine. Then the animal snarled and screeched and howled and whinnied and whimpered and hooted and howled and gobbled up the whole ice cream stand. All 52 flavors, 53 with ice cream man. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I post more great stories like this. Have a suggestion for a book? Be sure to leave it in the comments and maybe it'll appear in a video. Thanks for listening. Bye!